This is the historic city of Toledo in Spain. The city is often referred to as the city of three cultures due to the presence of Christian, Jewish, and Muslim influences. The whole city is basically one vast outdoor museum from the historical landmarks to the architecture. Exploring Europe is a passion of mine. With Toledo's rich culture and diverse history as our inspiration, we relish the chance of experiencing this place without hesitation. Our entry point to the city was San Martin Bridge. It spans over the Tagus River and it's one of the most recognizable landmarks of the city. The San Martin Bridge has played a significant role throughout Toledo's history. The Tower of San Martin served as a defensive structure and a toll bridge during medieval times. Today, San Martin's Bridge stands as a symbol of its rich history and architectural heritage. introduction to the city. It offers the breathtaking views of the cityscape, the Tagus River, and the surrounding landscape. The city has artwork sprinkled all over. If you blink, you might miss it. As we walk up this hill, we see the first monastery. This is the Monastery of San Juan de los Reyes. This monastery was founded by King Ferdinand and Queen Isabella. That's the same King Ferdinand and Queen Isabella who sponsored Columbus's expedition to the New World. The unique exterior of the monastery features intricate details and decorative elements, including delicate tracery, friezes, and sculptures. Toledo is also renowned for its charming and narrow streets that wind through the historic city center. It's so exciting to know some notable figures in history probably walk these streets. Famous people like Emperor Charles V held his court here in Toledo. Don Quixote was also here, as well as El Greco, the artist. We didn't get a chance to see it, but beneath the streets of Toledo lies a network of hidden tunnels and underground passages known as La Suidad Subterranea or Subterranean City. These tunnels were used for various purposes throughout history, including defense, transportation, and secret escape routes. streets of Toledo are mesmerizing. 
There's no shortage of beautiful buildings in Toledo, well-worn and lived in. It's very easy to get lost around here. The city is registered as a UNESCO World Heritage Site due to its rich collection of historical monuments punctuated by ancient walls, pretty plazas, and cobblestone streets. The streets are dotted with these stores that sell their beautiful handcrafts. One of the more representative streets of Toledo is Calle de San Tomé. Lined with shops and eateries, it's a delight to explore this boulevard of the old city. At the end of this part of the tour, we stopped at Iglesia del Salvador, which was a, a mosque originally, but later transformed to a church featuring Visigoth carvings and other archaeological findings. If you're hungry, there's plenty of great bars and cafeterias along the way. This is the magnificent Cathedral of Toledo. The Toledo Cathedral is one of the city's major landmarks. This impressive Gothic church is a worthy symbol for tourists to see. It's also the seat of the Metropolitan Archdiocese of Toledo. In recognition of its cultural significance and architectural beauty, the Toledo Cathedral was designated as a UNESCO World Heritage Site in 1986. Toledo's cathedral tower, known as Torre del Relo, stands at approximately 92 meters or 301 feet. Visitors can climb to the top for breathtaking views of the city and its surroundings. is also known for metalworks. The famous Toledo steel will make an impressive sword. When walking along the many store-lined streets, you'll see various stores selling metalworks of all types. We didn't see any festivals when we were there, but Toledo is also known for centuries-old festivals such as Corpus Christi. And as you guessed it, it revolves around religion. It's 
so mesmerizing just looking around the nooks and crannies of all these old streets. And as you guessed it, Toledo is a great city to visit all year round thanks to the pleasant continental climate. Unfortunately, we didn't get a chance to visit the Alcazar. We'll have to leave that for the next time we visit Toledo. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed our walking tour of Toledo. We'll see you next weekend.